Welcome back everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss secondary flight controls of an aircraft. Let's get into it. Secondary flight controls are those which are not compulsory for an aircraft. But their presence increases the performance of primary controls. They are, trim tabs, balance tabs, servo tabs, anti-servo tabs, flaps, slats, slots, and spoilers. Trim tabs. These are located at the trailing edge of primary flight controls. They are activated from the cockpit. In some situations the airflow might be so tough for the pilot to operate the flight controls. So, trim tabs help the pilots to reduce the force needed to control the primary control surfaces. They help the pilot to take hands off from holding the controls while maintaining proper flight condition. Balance tabs. It would be difficult for pilots to operate the primary controls because of their wide surface area and much airflow over it. So, balance tabs are used. These are hinged to the primary control surfaces. They were operated in the opposite direction to the desired operation of the control surface. So this helps in positioning the control surface with less force than needed. Servo tabs. These are similar to that of balance tabs but have different purpose of design. These are not only designed to reduce the force needed but also to assist the primary controls. These are located in the same place as that of balance tabs and has same effects. Let's look into an example of how the balance and servo tabs work in case of an elevator deflection. Consider the following diagram. When the pilot pulls the control stick backwards, the linkage makes the servo tab deflect downwards. Now take a look at the elevator and servo tab section and consider the camber. Lift will be produced in the elevator, due to which the elevator rises up. And when the elevator rises up there will be negative lift in the tail of an aircraft. This results in climbing or pitch up of an aircraft. Anti-servo tabs. These are similar to that of servo tabs but have function in the same direction of primary controls. These are used to make the stabilizer less sensitive by the force exerted by the pilot. Flaps. These are located at the trailing edge of the wing, adjacent to the fuselage. They provide high lift at low speeds. These are lowered downwards to increase the camber, which provides lift. During takeoff, flaps are operated moderately for high lift and low drag, and during landing they are deployed completely, for generating high lift and high drag. Flaps help the aircraft to reduce the usage of runway during takeoff and landing. There are different types of flaps, they are plain, split, slotted, fowler, and slotted fowler flaps. Slats. Flaps are trailing edge devices. Similar to that of flaps there are leading edge devices called slats. These are extended forward to increase the camber during takeoff and landings. Slats allows the aircraft to operate at high angle of attacks. When slats are operated completely they leave gaps between leading edge and trailing edge called slots. Slots. Slots are the gaps between leading edge and trailing edge. Slots help the aircraft to reduce stall speed at high angle of attack. They help pilots to control the aircraft at reduced speeds. By allowing the air to flow from lower surface of the wing to the upper surface, that is mixing the high speed air with boundary layer air. Delaying boundary layer separation. Fixed slots are used in some aircrafts which have a disadvantage. They increase the drag. At lower speeds drag helps in reducing stall speed. But at higher speed slots reduce the cruising speed of an aircraft and increases fuel consumption. So retractable slots are used that is slats. They can be retracted when not needed. Spoilers. Spoilers are small devices present on top portion of the wing. These help in reducing the speed of an aircraft. When deployed, it raises up into the airstream and disrupts the laminar flow over the wing and reduces lift. They transfer the whole weight of the aircraft to landing gear. These are also called as lift dumpers. So these are the secondary control surfaces discussed. I hope you have learned something new today. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe Aviation Alphabet for more videos related to aviation.